Hi everyone, it's Marcy with Creators Call here on YouTube. And today we're gonna have a little play session. I am wanting to work some more in my idea books, but I wanna do it with a Christmas emphasis. Now, hashtag, spoiler alert, I don't have a lot of Christmas stuff really, but what I do have, I want to work on getting in here and documenting. The last time I did this or worked in the idea book, I was trying to remember and I thought, oh, it hasn't been that long. But it was actually almost a year ago, the first couple of them that I did, and then we did some more work towards the beginning of the year. So it's been quite a while since I did any work in my idea books at all, partly because um, I kind of ran out of room and I had to go get some more binders. But now I have what I need, and I've got one set aside here that I thought would be great for Christmas. So that's what we're gonna work on today. So go ahead and get yourselves comfy or get yourselves crafty and then we will dive in in just a second. Like I said, I don't have a lot of things that are Christmassy, but I'm working on building up a stash. Most of these beautiful things that you see here were given to me. These four here were all sent to me by Dale, the lovely Dale McBay. And these were from our swap last summer. She, was, she had my name. And so she has a lot of really neat things here. And then this one, uh, the pocket part, was a gift from Pam Van E. And so I could remember I uh, stuffed it with some other things. <laughs> so I was just trying to keep it all together here. So the first thing you want to do is figure out what you want to use to document. Uh, what, are you, what are you gonna save them in? Now I prefer, as you know, the binder style. I like that you can move pages around or if you have more tags than you have pockets, you can add extra pages and things. I liked that this one had the red and white check, so it kind of felt Christmassy and it's a little more square. And so I think that will help things fit on the pages better. You can, however, use any kind of style of book that you want or even just an existing notebook, spiral bound notebook, composition book. This is one that's been bound. This is one I purchased a while back, as well as this one. This one has book rings. So basically you can use any style of book that you want and turn it into your own idea book. Just, just have a play. So I have broken out a few um, Christmassy paper pads. I have some bigger 12 by 12s over on the floor and I have these, some of these I've had for a while and um, I just decided since I'm gonna be replacing probably quite a few of the pages in here, definitely want them to have the Christmas flair of course, anything plaid has my heart. <laughs> I love plaid. All right, so that's what we're going to do today. Um, we're gonna work on making my Christmas idea book from this binder style cookbook. So I just found this at a thrift store. Um, and I would say, the first thing we wanna do is approach it very similarly to to how we just do a regular cookbook. Now I could take time and flip through all these pages and stuff, but I just really don't want to right now. I do want to keep the tabs, they are very handy. And then if on my way through we find some cool looking Christmassy things, we can use those as pages in here as well. But I would just be putting my ephemera and ideas on top. Now of course you can take any idea that you see on YouTube and just make it with Christmas paper. So there's nothing special other than it has the Christmas vibe. And there are lots of people making all kinds of things. And if you have a favorite item or two that you really love making, just make it with your Christmas papers instead of with regular florals or vintage or whatever kind you like to decorate, just change it up and do it Christmassy. There. I really love the red on these. I'm gonna um, take a second and finish this here. There we go, all done. I have a nice big stack of cookbook pages that I can do other things with later or make all kinds of ephemera or what have you. And I'll take time later to look through these and see if there are any, um, any with really neat images or whatever that I might want to use as pages in here. All right, so let's look at what we have, which is precious little, let me tell you. <laughs> and see if there's any way that we might want to arrange it. 
some of these I went digging through my stash to see what we had and some of them some of them um, were just from other places so this one like I said was a gift last year from Pam and um, she had, gave me a couple things and so I just saved them out uh, she had everything tucked very nicely into here it was so stinking cute but I think this might end up like on the front cover maybe because it looks like um, it would be a good spot to keep that. And then if I had any other notes, I could just tuck them in here. So I'm going to reserve this for the front cover. Set that aside. And then, okay, these are little embellishments and things that I have made over time. And I just picked out my favorite ones. These are used gift tags, um, fabric pieces, little... Um, I had a book that had a bunch of Christmas seals pictures in it. So I just cut them out like stamps and, and decorated with them. Uh, decorating with Scrabble tiles. This was one of the pockets. I did this one in Christmas paper. Let's see. Oh, there are two kinds. And I didn't want to fasten them because I want to be able to unfold it and see what I did. So um, these were inspired by um, Sandy Vaughn. And when I did the I was collecting ephemera and stuff to put in the journals last year for the Ukrainian Center, that, the ones I was donating, and um, she sent me these, and so I made some in a Christmas style. I don't remember now if I made them in the regular style or not. I'll have to go back and watch those videos. This is just a journal card cut out of scrapbook paper, but because the primary image was used, it looks really cool. And that'll be good to tuck in a pocket and write notes on. This was from another swap a couple years ago, I think. Can't remember what I was swapping in. Anyway, I liked how she did it. She did the, um, this vellum has got an imprint on it, and I just liked how she did it with the tag on the back. And here's the card. Let's see if I can remember. Oh, I know. It was, um, who was it that had has the swaps? that she organizes all the time. YouTuber, now I can't think of her name. Anyway, this was from that slot. Stamping and making fabric clusters. This was a thank you. I got in a gift at one point, an order, so I kept it. Here's one of these pockets we've made and um, I've got my notes in there. So that's good, so I got pocket, tag or journal card, cluster embellishmenty things. Tag pockets. Uh, what is this? Hold it, hold it. I gotta see what I've got. Oh, this is the one I made. Oh, um, when I was doing the journals last year, the Christmas ones, and so I made one for my book. So this is what that is. So these are more pocket ideas. That's a Dee Dee Farrago inspired pocket. This is. This was from the Christmas in July swap. So what I also wanted was to put things like personal notes in here. Okay, this was stinking cute. And it's like a writing board. But um, then she also made this tag and attached it. And this is just an altered paper clip, which I thought was very clever. Just wrap that around. Very simple, right? And then she tucked uh, some really cute things into the bottom of this pocket. So we might have to do some recreating or I might have already done recreating. I don't think so though. These look like little Tim Holtz pieces. Anyway, I thought it was really cute. And then um, underneath this pretty vellum, there's an image and then she has this. So I just thought this tag was gorgeous. I thought this was beautiful. So that's tag, tag. These are made by the same person. The person that I was swapping with and then this and then just the idea of having um, book pages of various kinds and I think this is my card from Pam it is so that needs to go in here so it's gonna be kind of like an idea book and friendship book kind of thing so I think that'll do I think that's a good idea 
Okay, so here's the ones from Dale. Dale made this gorgeous trifold card. Isn't that beautiful? And it is just so gorgeous. She has such a rich, um, what's the style? Uh, the word I want, I don't know. I love her style though because it's so um, luxurious. That's the word. Okay, this goes with tags. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need like the whole binder for the tags because they take up a lot of room. This was a ruffle I made for myself out of pretty wired ribbon and I liked it. So that's gonna decorate a page. It goes in embellishments. Oops, come back here. And then this, these two were the pretty cards that Dale made. They need their own pages because she has altered cards. So I think that's really cool. And this one's almost like a writing board. They need their own pages with pockets. And then she made this awesome paper sack. I did ransack the stuff that was back there and used it for something else. But um, so these are like more kind of specialty kind of items, I guess. Unusual items, I guess is how you would say that. I'm not sure. So they have their own place. <laughs> it's my own only journal card. Although this will be a trifle journal card. We'll just recreate it. And then I have, um, we might, maybe in another video, I have the idea, you know, I like to use decorated Christmas envelopes, the stationary kind, but they make really great pockets and stuff, but because I have so many, especially this one, we might be able to do some envelope ephemera or something, you know? Something like that. And then I have a bunch of my Christmas stationaries and things I can pull out for pages if we want. So, let's put that aside. So this is just an idea for pockets and things, and I will, if it's a pocket, we want it to go with pockets, wherever the pockets went. Pockets, there they are. And this is trying to fall out. Don't do that. This came out of Dale's, here it is. I know for a fact it did. There it is, it goes right there. Isn't that cute? So cute. Oh my goodness. These are all just beautiful. Okay. So I can lay down pretty papers in the backgrounds or I can just go ahead and put things on top. Let's see. And whatever I use, it needs to be heavy enough to support a lot of these things. So these are, oh, and doilies. Can't forget that we like to use doilies. Um, purchased usually from Dollar Tree or the um, party supply place sometimes. Um, or I think on occasion from Michael's. Don't quote me on that though. Oops, that one tore. I guess it's a good thing I'm using that for me. I like that one. And then I also really like these red ones. That one's also torn, so good. That's a good one to use. Uh, I liked the gray in there, and I think these did come from the party supply place. I was just trying to find some that maybe I could lay down as backgrounds. If I only have one or two, I wanna save them for other journals, but if I have more, it would be fun to lay them down as backgrounds. There's one. I like this one a lot, I know I do. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I hope I'm in frame, guys. I'm just kind of making a big old mess over here. Have that one, I have this one. You can tell I like more of a traditional Christmas look. Hmm, I have, is that, oh, this one's different from that other one. Perfect, good. So we can lay these down as like background pages on here. I love this stationery too. 49 cents. Thank you, St. Vincent de Paul. Yeah, I'm gonna take two out. Mainly because two of them came out, but also because I really like it and it'll be very versatile on the background. Here's a poinsettia one. Nope, sorry, that's an amaryllis. I don't know why I was thinking of it as a poinsettia. It's an amaryllis. My mom grows those every year. Me, I do not have the best luck with house plants. Out in the yard, fine. If they can survive outside on their own, then they live at my house. If they can't, they need a lot of coddling, then they don't live in my house. 
There's a couple like this. I love this little, that little Santa. Okay, let's put those down. And of course, I didn't bring out my tab punch, but what I will do later, I didn't bring out either of my tab punches, but what I'm gonna wanna do is, um, is to punch some of the coordinating papers and cover these tabs with my tab punches. So there we go. So let's start decorating and gluing and we can pretty much do what we want because there's no, no, um, no rules with a junk journal. I was wondering if I might want to put that on the front. All right. I think I'm just going to cover this one with some paper only because it's blue <laughs> and I really want like this doily to be on some on one of the red backgrounds. So. I think I'm just going to work merrily along and then we'll speed this up, okay? Okay, I think I got that. Um, it's trying to curl. So I'm just gonna set it aside and let it dry and then I'll punch holes and probably put little hole reinforcers. So there's page one done. Okay, so let's measure our pages because if I wanna put in extras, I need to know what we're dealing with. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six and a half by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and a quarter, six and a half by nine and a quarter. Good to document that. Okay, now we got it. 
I can keep referring to that. Okay, so let's find some pretty papers to use. Now, one of the things that I tend to do is uh, stuff other random pages inside, not this one, but um, stuff other random pages inside that I also wanna use, like when I buy the loose sheets at, at uh, the craft store and stuff. Oh yeah, I used this one once before. I like this one a lot. Yay, good to use my favorites. Might be kind of nice to have some with some blue in them because yeah, that one's loose. Good. Um, since that first page is blue, it would be nice to have something with a little blue in it. My daughter collects nutcrackers. She likes them a lot. Someday we'll have to go to Germany and buy real ones. Anybody else in there that I really like? Maybe that one. Let's see if we can find one with some blue. So this is what I meant. These are just loose papers from Hobby Lobby that I can stick into other journals. Okay, so this other plaid. Is that this plaid? Huh, this one's bigger and that one's smaller, but they are the same. As I love plaid. I don't think I need two of the same pattern. I love this one. That is Christmas to me right there. This one might, let's see. This one has some blue. That might be the one we use. We'll see. Oh. It has a different shade of blue. This looks more Christmassy to me too. Okay, got those. And this one has more modern, modern designs. But I think, if I remember, I, I got it for one or two of these patterns in here. Um, oh, I have scraps. I love this paper. I I use it for so many things. It's perfect. Well, if we want scraps later, we can we can make pockets and stuff with these. Let's see, is there anything kind of blue? There's this. Are you repeating? Oh, I pulled that out from there. Okay. Ooh, that one has some blue in it too. Well, not blue, blue. The green looks blue. <gasps> Ooh. Now we're talking. So far, that's the one I like the best. These are a little more um, cutesy, watercolory brush stroke, more modern looking. So that's not what I lean to for myself. And there's that one. Ooh, that one's pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna take this one because I like the black background and I'll take this one because I like the red background and the pine cones. Perfect. Okay, that's plenty of papers. Okay, give me a second. I will trim these down to our size. Okay, I am back. And I went ahead, I cut all the papers and kind of arranged them. I took some out of a couple of 12 by 12 pads because I wanted to be able to fold in the sides and make like pockets and things for some of the bigger and more awkward stuff. And yeah, so that's what I've got and it's already pretty full. I pretty much decided to take out the tabs uh, other than I think I have three left in here just because it's just easier to keep flipping through a book than to try to divide it into all the little sections, I think. Um, so I've done that on the other two and I feel like I'm just trying to divide everything up too much and then I'm losing track of where to put everything. So it is definitely fat right now. Maybe that'll flatten out as we add things in. It basically, let's see, we glued this on and then I just went through and kind of just arranged them in a pleasing fashion. So the first thing um, is going to be gluing in some embellishments, which obviously I don't have very many. Now, it may be that as I go through things later and continue to clean out that I might end up with more. We'll see. 
And it may be that I end up taking out some of these pages and just making ephemera to put in here because maybe I just have too many. But I certainly do want to keep the bigger ones that I folded over so that they can be pockets or, or things like that because I feel like that's going to be what, what I'm going to need the most. Okay, so first things first, let's glue in a few of these embellishments. And um, so this one, I just layered fabric with um, an, a used tag. I'm not writing this down, I'll just tell you what I did. Um, and then I'll go back and document later. Because that the one video where I did that, it was very useful, but it does take a little bit of time. <laughs> so layering, this is a, a Christmas tag from gifts that we used one year, um, tags that we used one year. I just really liked them because they had the spode pattern on it. And, So they made really pretty uh, embellishments and clusters. And I've pretty much, I think, used all of these that I made that year. Okay, so this one, I don't know what it is about this one, but I have just always liked it. There's a little bit of sparkle, and I don't know if she just added that to the fabric or just what, but the fabric with the um, image and she had whoever I can't even remember who I ordered from but she stamped thankful there it all turned out really cute and then here's another cute little cluster I did so these are the strippy strippy clusters that Gail makes Gail Augustinelli does the side side um, well they can be side tucks or they can be clusters but they're from layered strips and then, let's see, where shall we put Noel? I'm not quite sure where I want to glue that one yet. I'm going to move that off to the side. It might end up on the spine or on the front or something. I'm not really sure. Okay, so moving back here to the next spot, I'm going to go ahead and glue in some of these pockets. And uh, I just decided that rather than try to have a separate section for journal cards and all that, I would just tuck them in to all of the pockets that I'm going to be putting in, which I know is kind of basic, very element uh, elementary, but that's not what I did in my other one, but I found it actually harder to figure out how to put all of the tags and journal cards where to put them because they're meant to be tucked into things. I really hope I got that. I might end up having to trim this down. We'll see. We will see. I love this paper. So of course I had to have some in my book. I'm gonna push this down. So I did make these last year when I was working on, I think the title of the video was Oversized Ephemera. So, or Ephemera for Oversized Journals, something something to that effect and I can link that up above in the cards and down below in the description box and at the end in the um, screen end screen things okay um here's this one oh, it's sliding not good not good no okay we'll just leave these out <laughs> I'm just gonna have to lay those there for the moment but I definitely want it to stick. Maybe it's because I have it folded, so it's not getting a good good grip. There you go. I'm just gonna clip those there for the moment, and then I'll go back and tuck them in when it's completely dry. So these are so big. I don't know how I'm gonna make that happen. And then we have this one, this lovely, side tuck hmm these might not be wide enough I might have to put it on its own page back here this is why I wanted pockets because I wrote the notes on here and I made it so I could fold them out but I want to tuck them into something so what the heck am I gonna put on the next page <laughs> I don't know. They all kind of just have to clip, don't they? Maybe that. They all just need pockets, so 
This may drive my drive my planning. I don't know if you guys have good ideas on how you like to put stuff into your books. Please share that with me. Because I obviously need the help. Okay, that should look really cute right there. There we go. And I like to write down, um, my, write myself little notes and tuck them in as to where I found the idea and all of that. So I did want to update you guys on hubby surgery. It went very well, very smoothly. Nothing, nothing weird or troubling. Or he said it was, the doctor said it was just very straightforward, very cut and dried. And um, actually, Tom is not having as much pain as we thought he might. We thought. You know, we weren't sure what to expect, but we've heard a lot of different things about how painful it can be and how sore and stay on top of the pain. And But he um, has stopped taking his oxycodone, and we're only on day, today's Sunday, so it was Wednesday when he had surgery, so Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. He's on day four, and um, we're pretty much alternating Tylenol and ibuprofen, and then he's taking his oxycodone at night. Uh, the first day or so, day and a half, he took it, took it exclusively, but um, he's not really having too much trouble so far. And then today he, he's kind of bored, obviously, hanging out around the house, so um, I'm trying to find a page that has a pocket. There we go. So he um, had a friend who invited him to go watch some football at a local restaurant on the big TVs. So he went and did that for a little bit, but I was like, okay, I'm going to go home and record a video. And then about the time I got home, within 45 minutes, he texted me and said, oh, hey, <laughs> I'm ready to be picked up. I was like, oh, okay. Just think it has such a different look to everything when you do them with the Christmas decor, you know? Christmas papers and Christmas everythings. Okay, and then I'm going to tuck these two examples in here. There we go. Yep, I may end up having to take some pages out, that's for sure. Okay, I wanted to clip. I don't have my pretty clips, but I, these are going to have to get clipped because, uh-oh, because there's stuff on the back of them, you know? So I'm going to put the clippy that I have handy at the moment right here, and then I'll change it out for something cute. And then this one could be over here. Yeah, the clips I have handy are not very... <laughs> Not very pretty, they're very large. <laughs> okay, let's do that. So back here, this is kind of what I reserved for what I'm calling the specialty section. So here's this beautiful thing that Dale made and we might try making one of those, but it's gonna have to get clipped because it's two-sided. So we wanna make sure that we see all of it. Okay, there's that one. And that's for notes. Okay, Santa. Okay, this one will work. Okay, so really cool cards. This one also has to get clipped. A lot of clipping in this book. And of course, I don't have my good clips, so I'm sorry. I'm so unprepared. And then that one could clip over here. <laughs> These are just horrible. <laughs> horrible clips. There we go. And then this one, also like a writing board. I'd kinda like that one to go into a pocket if it could. Oh, look at that. Let me tell you, there's a lot of thinking that has to go into these books. Or maybe I'm just making it too hard. I'm sure I probably am. 
I just try to think it through a little bit so that I'm not just in a big old mess, you know? So it's not so haphazard, but obviously that strategy is not working for me. Okay, so there's that. And this can be slid back in. And we'll put that here and then I wanted to show that I just punch them and stick them in. So let's, let's do that. And then I can write notes again on what I did and why. Okay. Let's punch that one using my holes I've already got figured out. What I did on these uh, stationary pages was I folded them over so that it would reinforce itself when I punch the holes back here. to know is did these go together? Nope, they don't. Pages 17 and 18, 35 and 36. Okay. So I guess it doesn't really matter. And since this is the wider border border margin, I kind of like having that one up next to the next to the edge here, next to the spine. And do that. And I'm just going to lay that in there, and then I can write my notes about why I put that in there. But in the meantime, it also layers like a, like a journal would do. Okay, so I've got that. Again, I will find better clips and clip those in. And then I have this beautiful one from Dale. Oh, Dale, Dale, Dale. It's so beautiful. It's just gorgeous. And... How do I want it to go in here? It's going to have to go into its own pocket or get clipped. It's, un it's not even, it's so thick that it would be hard to clip on there. I don't know. You know what? It's probably just going to go in this one because that one is big enough. That one's going to go on the center, on the cover, inside cover. All right. So I need to work on obviously making stuff to go in here because I don't have very many things. <laughs> but it's a start. At least it's all collected into one place. And um, now when I make things, I can just make an extra one. And then I was gonna put this on the cover and then maybe I'll find like a card or something to lay on top of the cover. So that's a start. That's as far as we're gonna get on this today. Um, I feel like I've just been more like chattering and not really showing you much, but just working in this together and maybe you guys are needing to do something similar so I would say don't make too many pages and um, I'm not sure I'm not sure if there's a good strategy or not but here's where we are and it looks very Christmassy already so it's getting me in this in the spirit of things all right guys that is a wrap for today I'll talk to you in the next video and until next time be inspired and do something creative have a good week mm -hmm.